Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create a new Yammer community. Uh, Yammer is, of course, uh, an enterprise uh, corporate uh, social network. And like Microsoft Teams, um, you know, Yammer is used for kind of non-project related activities uh, in case if you, let's say, want to um, build a cross-functional community of practice and maybe build um, a community where you will be exchanging information maybe with uh, parties outside of the organization. Uh, so yeah, think of this as kind of, um, you, know, you know, this enterprise social network that you would use uh, for two-way communication with uh, with staff inside and outside of uh, the organization that doesn't necessarily fall under one of the you know particular department or maybe a particular project like you know for for those purposes you would use obviously Microsoft Teams. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Obviously, you need to uh, be able to um, you know create communities. Uh, so assuming this functionality is enabled, uh, what you need to do is navigate to Yammer. All right, I already have a few communities. Let's just say you, I want to create a SharePoint community of practice. Maybe I want to exchange information with my vendors and you know, my employees, of course, and maybe uh, people outside of the organization. So I'm going to click Create a Community. All right, and uh, there are a few questions you need to answer. Um, first, um, the name of the community. Let's just say we want uh, to create a, a SharePoint community of practice. Here we go, so let me just Type this in. You can provide a description so everyone knows what it's for. Um, you can add members. By the way, you can add members later. All right, let's not worry about it. Uh, very important, this section below. All right, let me explain to you what uh, what this means. So if I click Edit, um, these are the choices, essentially two questions you need to answer. One, whether this community will be internal or external, right? Internal, of course, is just for your employees. External, that means, you, you know, anyone um, maybe your vendors, clients, you know, contractors, they can become part of this community. So let's just say I want this. All right. And then whether it's public or private, right? Um, let me explain to you what this means. It's actually the same principle we have uh, with Microsoft Teams. Uh, and essentially, um, you, you know, here, if I, let's say, say private, that means that um, as the you know uh, as the owner of the this community, I have to let you in. All right. If you see my community, uh, you cannot really join it without my approval. I have to approve you. Approve you. So for this particular one uh, for SharePoint community of practice, uh, you know what I wanted to be public, right? Uh, there is really nothing confidential here. We're just exchanging SharePoint tips. So I essentially what this means, this option means is that if you see my you know, if you discover my community, all right, uh, somebody sent you a link or you just see it in the list, you want to become part of it, great, you can join it um, and you don't even need to ask for my permission, right? Um, it's the same concept we have with, uh, you know, Facebook and I think LinkedIn groups, right, where, um, you know, some of them are private, some of them are public. All right, same idea. So hit create uh, and that's it, all right, that's, Pretty much it. Um, so essentially, I just sh showed you how to, um, you know, how to uh, create a community. Uh, there were only a few, you know, but very important questions you needed to answer. Uh, but uh, now I have a community where I can exchange information with external people, uh, and also anyone who sees my community can uh, join it freely without my approval. All right. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, uh, happy to see you on my YouTube channel uh, as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.